And Symphony 4.2, it's a bit different the way how to deal with things. So if you have experience with 3.2, uh, 3.4, sorry, it was like a notion of bundles and uh, bundle containing files and control, etc. But here it's slightly different. It's actually too much different since we talk about a micro uh, framework. So to create a controller, it's simply going to SRC controllers and right there we could click right and head to new and create a new file and you could call it hello Udemy or Udemy sorry Udemy controller like that dot PHP don't forget the extension added it and right here we start typing our PHP code so first of all starting by defining the namespace that in my case it's app app slash controller okay just make sure that everything is in the right case controller all right and right here i start defining class with the name exactly udemy controller that extends from extend the abstract controller that would give us access to plenty of tools that we will need to elaborate our application so just make sure that you are importing the abstract controller from the framework bundle not from any other package and right here we could start doing things so bundles or controllers is composed from various uh, building blocks which are methods or functions so let's go ahead and create a first one functions I'll call it index for example in the previous 3.4 you do remember that we have to fix this with index.action it's no more the case so it's simply index like that and we could do new response or echo or print or whatever so this is how to create uh, a controller in symphony 4.2 this is actually the first approach the manual approach and also we have another approach which is through the console right here so let's go ahead and open the console okay so clearing this and as you see him under the folder of my project and I will do PHP bin console the file that we saw in the previous video and I will do make dot controller and look what happened now it does say there is no command defining in the make namespace and this is normal because we don't have this maker of controller installed into our minimal micro package to fix this we need to go back to what we call symphony recipes website that's containing a list of packages that you could add it, that you could actually plug into your project and make it have an extra features so right here I will search for make right here we do see that we have the symphony make bundle or maker bundle and it's official this one is contribute is from contributors this service was contributed by someone from the community so we go to this official repo hit recipe oops sorry that actually hit package details and from here we could just simply grab this and as you may see this is the dude who is maintaining uh, symphony who is Fabian Potencier. okay copy that back to composer make sure that you are under the folder of the project and hit enter so it take some moments that it download the package install it and everything will be ready so right here what is handling this is a tool or, or like a tool from symphony since your labs is called the flex that is responsible of doing everything and let me just uh let that download take a time and let's search for flex that you could discover what's going on there 4.2 so this is a so flex or symphony flex automate the most common tasks of symphony applications like installing and removing bundles and other composer dependencies so simple as that composer or symphony did lead on the flex to uh to do to manage everything in terms of uh, components and uh, yeah so uh, also they said that symphony flex work for 3.3 and higher so starting from 4.0 flex should be used by default because we start talking about a micro application instead of a framework okay so it does say that everything is ready now it could go just back to the history and make controller 
okay composer i need also to have another one which is composer which is annotation actually so it say that missing package to use component or make controller so simply copy this paste it give it second that download itself and we'll be ready to creating our first controller using the terminal so it's installing th things everything should be ready so we have eight package installed we have doctrine we have uh, yeah most of them are doctrines so now if we go back to hit controller yeah welcome back let me just clean this and you could see it properly it does show choose a name for your controller a class for example grumpy puppy controller okay let's call this udemy controller and hopefully we won't bet get confused between by the old one that we created and hit enter and let's say that because it's already exist so you could just remove it manually and if you back to our ID we could just remove this folder or this controller actually and we could run that command again without any problem hunter and again udemy controller without with a small o pay attention enter and everything should be fine now if you go back to our ide we will notice that we have a new udemy controller with this what we call inline routing so now if i go to our application and the hit slash udemy we'll be seeing this message but first of all we need to boot up our application and this will be the purpose of the next episode